Hello everybody, good day to you all. The day after tomorrow, Hit Monkey season number one, season number one. It's a ten episode animated Marvel series on Hulu, and I gotta say, I enjoyed it a whole lot. Now, it's just, the animation style is not my favorite. I mean, it has it, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Archer. It's, it has a very stiff motion to it as well, too. A little bitchy at times as well, too. But some of the movements it actually does kind of fluid at, at times as well, too. Not the, not the kind of animation style I, I kind of gravitate towards the most. But it didn't take me away from it so I can enjoy the story and the characters that are involved in it. I think, I think Jason the Dexter did a great job as as Bryce. And the, and the guy, um, Fred, I'm not sure how to say his last name. Um, Taz, Taz Core? That's the core. He, he, he does hit monkey. He, he, you know, all he does, all he doing, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. But still, I, I enjoy the chemistry between the, between this hitman and this monkey, and and then getting a backstory on 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 on, um, on on Bryce and why he is the way he is. You get a better understanding of stuff as, as well too. So the action scenes I thought was quite like beautiful to look at. It was, it was very beautiful, br brutal, and very like rough. And then watching this monkey in action with it was just amazing. Even though even though it was like pure like animal psycho. Berserker savagery. It was the. It was beautiful, and 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 the, and the bad guys in here as well too. I've been didn't like them as well. Enjoy them. It, this show has a, has a good balance of a balancing of humor and also action as well as the gore. Putting it all together so it makes sense. Like one is like overpower the other one. Like it's, it's not too so funny that it, it goes to the silly territory. It's not too over the top of the gore that is like it just takes you out of the picture. It has a nice good balance to keep you moving forward as well too. Watching these two characters who are to different worlds completely and different species come together and kind of find that kind of thing that make their own tribe and their own pack and, their own, and stuff like that as well too. And like having Bryce connect to this monkey, have him look like discover, learn more about himself even though he's dead now and learning about who he is and why he is the way he is and actually growing as a character even though it's a little bit too late in life that he actually died now to get, the, to get this kind of clarity. But hey, it is what it is. It is what it is as well too. So overall, I had a whole lot of fun watching this series. Um, I, I thought I, I thought it was a whole lot of fun. I mean, I never thought that I actually want to see a monkey kill people before ever in my life, but actually, this show made me want that, and I'm glad I saw it. <laughs> oh my God, it was so good! It was so good. Yeah. So, how to recommend the show? So check it out for yourself. I didn't see this coming. I thought I was going to enjoy it, but I didn't think I was going to like it this much. I said, "Wow." Wow, and hopefully get picked up for, for, for season number two. I'm looking forward to seeing that. See where this story is going to go because you pretty much watch both of these characters grow from where they started out as. Because you got you got you got Bryce, like I said, only thought about himself. Party like crazy. And you think yeah, he because he's a hitman, you'll be more subtle about it. But he was like pretty much telling everybody to kill people. He just kept a, a couple of drinks in him. He telling everybody his whole life story. I just like, good lord, dude, the one you got killed. <laughs> what are you going to find you so easily? You tell everybody everything. And you, you can't just tell strangers you're a killer. But the, but the thing is, though, I think they might, because cause he was so stupid drunk and just re bragged about it so much, I don't think they might took, took him seriously. So I might thought he was telling the truth or not. So I, thought, I was insane. I was insane. And watch this monkey living in a, having his own little tribe, whatever they, whatever they call it, and, and, and also being different from them. And then losing them, and then watching his journey of trying to find out who he, who he is as, as a person, I guess you could say, going on his journey, like who he wants to kill, who he doesn't want to kill, what kind of person he wants to be. Because even though he's a monkey, he actually he actually does have a code that he, that he lives by. He doesn't just want to kill any random person. He's going to the people who actually feel as though he they, they, um, they deserve it, and they, they should go down. Well, I thought the voice acting was done quite well. I, I really did enjoy them as well too. Um, so I'm looking, like I said, th th this season was great. I'm looking, looking forward to the second season. If I give the season a whole entire grade as a whole, I would give it a solid B. I'll give it a solid B. I highly recommend it. Check, check it out for yourself. I, I, now I, I never read the comic book, so I don't, I don't really know too much about the character. I mean, I've heard of Hit Monkey. I've heard, I've heard of him, and I know, I know, I think, he, I think he's close, to, close to Deadpool in, in a lot of ways. But I don't think um, I don't, I don't really know him as, as well. I never never read any of the books. This 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 show actually makes me want to like read them and get so you get a better understanding of who this character actually is. I actually, I actually kind of curious now. I'm kind of I'm really curious about this whole hit monkey, hit monkey character. It's it's so weird that you like, all the all the all the things they could have chosen to make a TV show out of. But hit monkey, that, I I would think myself is this, wow, this could be a huge miss. But it actually they, they pulled it off. They pulled it off. So leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought about it if you have seen it. If you haven't seen it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully you watch it. You will enjoy it. Have fun watching it too. So give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really do appreciate it. Like I always say, in my dreams of life, I am...
the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.